I found reading the back of like food products and skin products very interesting. I found mixing color when I was even younger like interesting, but I didn't know this. My nursery school teacher actually told this to me that she was like, oh, I could see you being a chemist. Sophia King, I would summarize her in three words. She is a curious, intelligent, and very ambitious student. I came to America for studies because the level of work that I knew I wanted to be doing couldn't be done at the University in Guyana. Sophia is going to be a wonderful chemist. Actually, she already is. When she worked with me in the lab for the past three and a half years, since I met her in freshman year, I invited her right away to work with me. When I first entered Adelphi, I was placed in the sophomore chemistry class instead of the freshman chemistry class. So I was pretty unsure about what I was doing because I came from a different country, so I don't know the standard of chemistry required here. So I was very unsure and I would go to her office hours all the time. But in lab, I would just start doing the work. So I think she noticed that in lab I had potential. And seeing someone in the classroom is not enough to pass all of the practical knowledge. After so many years of working here, I was able to pass that interest and pass that passion that I have for chemistry on Sophia. And I actually was able to be accepted into the PhD program at UCLA, which I will be going to in the fall. I think being together for such a long time and also traveling the world together, like going for conferences in Madrid, uh, going to uh, do some work uh, in the lab in University of Warsaw in Poland, that kept us to be very close together. So we became like a family. Over the summer, I worked at the University of Warsaw, where I worked with some instruments that I wouldn't have been able to work with here. Since it is a graduate institution, and it solidified my drive to pursue a PhD in chemistry.